Hello and welcome to this edition of the First Theater Sustainment Command, Blackjack Express. I'm Staff Sergeant Kimberly Cooper-Williams. Coming up, Tennessee's Army National Guard Unit, 230th Sustainment Brigade, takes on the massive task of withdrawing U.S. forces from Iraq to meet the President's deadline by the end of the year. And the 364th Expeditionary Sustainment Command from Marysville, Washington, officially assumed their role in the responsible drawdown of forces from Iraq. But first, Specialist Kelsey Jeffers tells us how logisticians at Kabari Crossing play an essential role in ensuring equipment and supplies are transported between Iraq and Kuwait. As the drawdown in Iraq progresses, the enormous task of moving equipment and supplies falls to logisticians. The support of the Kuwaiti government and military significantly reduces time and cost as logisticians meet that task head on. The Kabari Crossing, better known as K-Crossing, plays a vital and essential role in the drawdown. K-Crossing is the border between Iraq and Kuwait and the gateway that the U.S. uses to move equipment and supplies. If it wasn't for the Kuwaitis, this place could not run. They do a, a lot of important jobs around K-Crossing. We can't do this without them. The scale and size of the mission logisticians take on is very apparent at K-Crossing. At any given time, you will find hundreds of trucks and convoy carrying everything from military vehicles to food. At K-Crossing, these trucks clear customs, ensure they have proper documentation, and prepare to move supplies and equipment between Iraq and Kuwait. We verify to make sure that everything is correct regarding paperwork for the cargo, the trucks, the drivers, all going north, that the escorts that they have are in order, uh, as well as everything, all, everything pertaining to the cargo, make sure they're tied down properly, nothing's going to happen bad on the roads. Without the support of the Kuwaiti government and military, K-Crossing, and our logistician, the drawdown of Iraq wouldn't be the reality it is today. Reporting for the First Theater Sustainment Command from Camp Air John Kuwait, I'm Specialist Kelsey Jeffers. U.S. forces have been in Iraq for over seven years, and in that time, an enormous amount of equipment has built up throughout the country, and every piece of that equipment needs to be moved in a short period of time. That's where the 230th Old Hickory's expertise comes into play. They established an operations base at Joint Base Balad, or JBB, to coordinate the extraction of equipment from Northern Forward Operation Bases, or FOBs, to Central Iraq. Instead of wearing out trucks by driving 800 miles north, they're hauling equipment from Northern FOBs to JBB. Then they'll transfer the equipment south to Kuwait or other destinations throughout the theater, which allows for greater flexibility. Weather, road restrictions, and Iraqi checkpoints every 20 miles can slow the truck's movement to a crawl. Not to mention the ever-present threat of roadside bombs and enemy fire that keep these service members on full alert. Captain Jack Tyler, Joint Task Force Hickory Support Operations Officer, said they are not focusing on getting caught up in the overall picture, but on what they can control, which is their elements, and making the most effective use of them. This puts the focus at ground level where it needs to be. The 364th Expeditionary Sustainment Command takes on their first deployment since activating two years ago. Sergeant Joe Valines tells us about their recent ceremony at Camp Air of John Kuwait. On October 6th, Brigadier General Jonathan G. Ives, Commanding General of the 364th Expeditionary Sustainment Command from Marysville, Washington, signaled his command as operational by uncasing the unit colors at Camp Air of John in Kuwait. These soldiers will create the reputation and history of the 364, and I'm confident that they have the skills, desire, and the heart of champions. Nothing has stopped them, and nothing will prevent them from the accolades which lie ahead, both individually and as a command. Thomas Jennings, Command Sergeant Major for the 364th ESC, speaks of his unit's values. I believe that the most important expectation is for my soldiers to be ethical and to have character to be professional and to do the right thing at all times. That's what the 364th ESC soldier is about. Major General Kenneth Dowd, Commanding General of the 1st Theater Sustainment Command, speaks of the readiness of the 364th ESC. I want to say how proud I am that